Hello folks, welcome to another 360 degree virtual tour of an Ontario Provincial Park. This one is going to be Grundy Provincial Park. Now Grundy Provincial Park is such a large park, we couldn't do the whole entire park in one video, so we just concentrated today on two campgrounds. Now the first campground is going to be the trailer campground and the poplar campground. The trailer one is from 200 to 236. And the poplar is from 300 to 370. As you can see, as we uh, drive through the park, it's a, it's a pretty large park. We're going towards the uh, trailer campground. This is a typical summer long weekend. Actually, I don't think it's a long weekend. It's just a weekend. There's people coming and going. There's people jogging, walking, hiking, riding bikes, uh, just, just general summer activities in this beautiful park. So just a reminder, if you don't know how to navigate on this, stop this video right now and go to our very first video. I'll put a link in the description right up above on your right hand side. Click on that link and that'll take you to a little quick little tutorial on how to navigate this. And once you know how to do that, come back to this video. As we turn right into this um, uh, first campground, which is called a trailer campground, we're going to make a left right here. This one's going to be 200 on our right hand side. This is a corner site, so it's uh, and it's near the entrance, so it's a, not most private one, but as you can see, uh, it is secluded and it's uh, separated from your neighbor. 201 on your right there. These are all electrical sites, and these sites along this line here are all pull through sites. So it's very, very easy to navigate. This is 203 here and 202 before now 203 and the good thing with these sites is you have no one across the road from you so you just have someone on the other side probably on the right hand side but not, no one on the left coming up to 204 here on your right as we round the corner Now on the left, if you pan to the left here, just before we turn this corner, you can see there's some vaulted toilets there, uh, both sexes, uh, men's and ladies, vaulted toilets there. As we turn the corner here, as you can see on the left hand side, now we're gonna concentrate, this is 214 on our left. Now the ones on the right hand side here, these are the ones we just passed, because these are the, pull, the opposite ends of the pull through. This is 213 on the left. As we keep going, you can see it's a 212 on our left. 211 on the left. These are nice and wide sites, uh, so very long sites. Uh, and they're wide in terms of uh, there's a lot of cover and shrubs and trees that are separating you and making you very private from your neighbors to the left and right of you. Now we're just waiting for uh, the person in front of us here in a nice uh, trailer. As we cross over the center here, uh, some more vaulted toilets there on the left hand side there. We're going to continue on in the sequence here. It's a uh, 215 on your left here. Once again, these are pull through sites. If you notice a lot of water uh, in the video here, a lot of puddles and some, some areas that are actually look a little swamped. <laughs> uh, we had a large rainfall uh, this weekend, so uh, at the time of filming, so that's what you're seeing there. 216 is going to be on your left here, and 217. And then right at the corner uh, is going to be 218 on the left here. As we round the corner again. Now, as we round the corner here, if you pan over to your right, you can see some more vaulted toilets. A lot of vaulted toilets here, uh, just going up the hill there. Uh, maybe not great for people that have mobility issues, 
but um, there are some vaulted toilets there if you need it overnight. So we were going to turn down there, but we won't because uh, there is a trailer coming, and it looks like he's going to need to get in one of those spots there. So we're going to go straight, and uh, as we go straight, we're going to check out some more sites on the opposite side here. As we turn left, we have 227 on our left and 236 on the right. These are two corner ones. Now the ones on the right hand side, you're gonna be right on the beach, so it's prime, prime spots. 226 on the left and 235 on the right. And there's a water tap there. 225 on the left and 234 on the right. Now we've got 224 on the left. This is where someone's coming in. And uh, 233 on your right there. To end off another uh, row here is going to be 223 on your left and 232 uh, on your right hand side there. As we cross over the center road here, we've got 219 on the left and 228 on your right. As we continue, we have 220 on your left and 229 on your right. As you can see, another water station on your right hand side there. 230 on the right and 221 on your left. And as we end off here, it's 231 on the corner on your right and 222 on your left there. So now we're going to concentrate on the popular campground here. And this goes from 300 to 370. We may not take a look at all of them, but we uh, will take a look at, at, at as much as we can. As we come up on the road here, as you can see on the left-hand side, before we turn right, there's going to be, uh, right in the, the bushes there in the trees, you can see a comfort station uh, with showers and washrooms and stuff like that. Uh, it, this is the service for all popular uh, campgrounds. As we turn the corner on the right, you can see 300 on our right hand side, a nice wide site, beautiful site. It, it is near the entrance in the corner, so it is a little, uh, busy 301 is going to be on your left a lot of people there a nice big side a lot of tents and everything on our right hand side here we have 302 people look like they're uh, packing up and getting ready to go We're going to see 310 on the left, 311 is on the right, yeah, these ones on the right are right on the beach, 312 on your left and 313 on your right, uh, a water fill station there, uh, right across from 314. We have 315 on your right there and 316 on your left. We have 317 on your right and 318. And then 319 on your right 
and a 320 on your left as we finish off this row. These are nice wide sights. Like I said, all the ones on the right hand side are uh, beach accessible, I guess you can say. And then as we come up here, you can see this is a public parking for uh, day use uh, beach goers or anyone who wants to come down to the beach with their uh, vehicles. And that's the beach on your uh, right hand side, as you can see how close the beach is. On your left here is going to be 322. And coming up on your right there we see 323 and uh, on your left there is going to be 326 as we continue on your right at 325 on your right and uh, 328 which is a rare non-electrical site on your left there and there's 327 on your right these are all nice, gorgeous, large sand sites cl so close to the beach. And there's a water fill station on your right hand side there, right next to uh, 327. Now there's 330 on your left coming up. And on your right hand side there is 329, uh, which denotes also a non electrical site. As you can see, it's an empty, wide open site there. As we keep going, we see 331 on your right, just as we begin to uh, come around a bend, and 332 on your left. Three thirty three on your right, also a non-electrical site, just as well as 331 was. And on your left here is gonna be 334 and on your right is going to be 335 just before we end off on that corner as we round the corner here on your left is going to be 334 337 on your left and 348 on your right some vaulted toilets there on your left um, com uh, not a comfort station but just va vaulted toilets right across is going to be a uh, 350 very uh, accessible to the toilets but also traffic and uh, could be some odors too if you know what I mean 352 on your right and 338 on your left three thirty nine on your right and three fifty four on your right As we come up to the end here, we have 340 on your left. And as we come to the center, as you can see, there's the, some more vaulted toilets. As we cross over here, on your left is going to be 331, 341, and 358 on your right. Then we're gonna have on your right hand side here, 360, and on your left, it's gonna be 342. On your right, it's gonna be 362, and on your left, it's gonna be 3, 
43. As we continue in the Poplar Campgrounds, as we turn the corner here, there's going to be 346 on your left and 368 on your right. There's 369 on your left there, and on your right it's going to be 366. 367 on your left, and 364 on your right. Three sixty three on your left and three sixty on your right, three sixty one on your left, and three fifty eight on your right. And then we end off at 359 on your left. As we cross over, you see the vaulted toilets that we saw earlier on your right hand side. That's the middle road there. And on your left is going to be 357. And on your right, where that giant pool of water is, is going to be 370. That looks that looks pretty vacant. Now on your left hand side is going to be 355 and on your right, it's a beautiful sight there, is 356. 354 on your right and 353 on your left. 352 is on your right and 350 is also on your right. Three fifty one on your left and three forty eight on your right. As we come around the corner, we have three forty nine all by itself in the corner there. And I forgot to mention all those ones on our right hand side there, they're all pull through sites from three sixty eight all the way to three forty eight. Those are all pull through sites. So that's it for the popular campground and the trailer campground, folks. Those are the two, one of the two popular campgrounds at Grundy Provincial Park. Once again, if you like these kind of videos and it, you find it helpful, uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to try to bring you more parks and more 360 virtual tours. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.